Okay, so I was doing a book review, a chapter summary of this book. This is uh, Fundamentals of Physics, Halliday Resnick Walker. And on the rolling chapter, it had this diagram. So this shows uh, a wheel that's rolling, and then it displays the velocity vectors at different points. And I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, the most important thing is that the velocity uh, at the contact point of the is zero, and that's why it rolls without slipping. So I want to make this in Python. Okay, so I'm going to make a wheel, which is going to be a, a cylinder in VPython. I'm going to give you the code for this, okay? Um, and then I'm going to break this into points, a bunch of points around here. Now, here's the most important thing. Uh, you'll have a radius R um, and some velocity of the center of mass. So I'll call that V wheel. It's a vector. And then I'll have a vector R from the center to my dot. Uh, and then I can find two velocities. This is going to have two velocities. It's going to have a velocity due to the center mass uh, this way. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be rotating this way, right? So an angular velocity into the thing. And so it's going to have a velocity like this. And then I just have to add those two up and get the total velocity vector. And then I can do that for, let's say, uh, you know, eight points around here. Okay, so the things that we need to know. Um, so if I want to write this as a vec, I think I can do this. Oh, if I have this as the xy plane, then omega, the angular velocity vector, is going to be equal to uh, the vector 0, 0. It's, it's rotating this way, so using the right-hand rule, it should be in the negative z direction. So it should be negative v over r. And then once I know omega and r, I can find the relative velocity of v circle, I guess. I call that v wheel. V circle uh, is going to be equal to, I think it's, if I do, if I do omega is that way, uh, r cross, it's, it's omega cross r. Omega, so if I have that and that, omega cross r, yeah. Is going to be omega cross the r vector, and then I can get that vc. So I can go through and do that. Okay, so we got some work to do. Uh, I actually already started. Haha, -ha, busted. Uh, but let's jump over to the computer. So this is what I already made. Sorry, I didn't wait for you. I was just, you know, this is just dumb stuff. I have here a cylinder, I have a ground, and then I have a center in the cylinder. And just to make things uh, pop a little bit. You know, I had to offset uh, that center because if it's actually in the center of the wheel, which is the cylinder, then you wouldn't be able to see it. So I pushed it back this way a little bit. So I'll show you the code. Nothing's magic here. So I have the radius of the wheel is 0.2. My wheel is the cylinder. Uh, so in VPython, GlowScript VPython, I'm using GlowScript VPython online, going to give you the code. Uh, a cylinder has a couple important project pop properties. One is the location of the center no no the position is not the location of the center the position is aha i just realized this the position for a uh a, a cylinder is one end and then uh the vector the axis is a vector from one end to the other end so you can make a long one it's not the center i just realized that now, i've made it work and I didn't even, wasn't even thinking. So this is from, this is just a vector that says it's 0.05 in the z direction. Notice that I put it in the negative x direction on my thing, and I put it at 0, 0, so it actually sticks out a little bit. The ground is a box. Uh, it has the position is the center, and then the size is just the vector dimensions of it. And this wheel c is my center of the wheel. And notice that I put the wheel position plus, I, I moved it this way a little bit, not all the way, so it's not in the center either. But that's what I'm going to deal with is my center of my wheel, and I made it red. Okay, so what do we need to add next? Well, I need a velocity of the wheel. So let's put this at uh, wheel.v equals, I'm just going to pick a velocity. Um, let's see, let's say 0 0.200. That's my velocity vector. And is this big enough? That should be big enough. 
Um, now, I, I want to just move the wheel. Let's do this in parts. So I'm going to say t equals 0, dt equals 0 0.01. Uh, and now I'm just going to move the wheel uh, until it's at the end. I'm not going to, it's not going to look like it's rotating. So let's do this. While uh, wheel.pos.x is less than 1. So it's going to start at x equals negative 1. I'm going to move till x is equal to 1. Rate 100. This just says do 100 loops per second. Since I have a time step of 0 0.01, this would be what, what I would call real time. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is just move the wheel. So wheel.pos equals wheel.pos plus wheel.v times dt. That's your normal position update. I need to move the, uh, the center to wheelc.pos equals wheelc.pos plus same, same, same velocity. Uh, and then I'm going to update time. t equals t plus dt. Let's just see if that works. Because you know you, you don't want to build everything all at once. You want to just kind of make a move. Okay, it's a little slow. Uh, that's too slow for me. Let's put this at uh, 0.4. I'm that impatient that I need it a little bit faster. Yes. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so what we need now, what I need now is to put some dots around there that I'm going to display the, va the, the, the vector uh, velocities. So let's do this. I'm going to say, and this is the way I like to do it. You can do it a different way. I'm going to say n equals 0, n equals 8. So I'm going to, I like to make a counter, right? So I can count to go around and I'm going to count from 0 to 8 and that's just the way I do it. Um, so let's see. I want to have an angle that I can use to pick where those dots are. So let's make a list dots you can make them individually, but I'm going to make them as a list of spheres. Uh, and then I'm going to say theta equals zero. I need my, my d theta, how, how much it's going to move around. d theta is going to be 2 times pi divided by n, right? Because that makes sure that each little time I, I move to the next dot, I move 1 eighth of the circle. And I'm doing it this way so I can have as many circles as I want. Um, Oh, let's see. Okay. I have some notes up here. I did this before. I'm looking, why do I have alpha? Okay, let's just let's just keep it as that. Uh, oh no, that's that's what it is. Okay. So actually Okay. Let's do this. While no, yes. Why <laughs> While n is less than n, this will do my thing. n equals n plus 1. It'll, it'll go 8 times, right? Um, I have, let's put this, let's say, alpha. Right, that's going to be, I'm, I, I don't want to use theta. What did I do? Theta is 0. d theta is n why am I doing that? Let's just do this. Theta. Theta equals theta plus n times d theta. Right? So the first time it goes through, it'll be at theta and theta is zero. The next time, oh, see, that's why. I'm, I'm changing theta. I don't want to change theta. So that's why I call this alpha. So let's just call this alpha. Another angle. I don't want to change that at a starting angle. Um, that's fine. So now I want to add a dot to my cylinder. So I'm going to say dots equals dots plus, I'm adding to a list. I don't want to deal with eight individual objects. It's going to be a sphere. Its position is going to be equal to r times vector cosine alpha sine alpha. And then I would normally do z, but um, I want to Oh, I and mean, I need to move it. That's that's I need to move it all the way down to the negative uh, z direction. So let's put this at uh, zero point zero four zero point zero four, and then I need to add the vector negative one zero zero right because I want to have the position start way down here at the left side. Okay, and then the radius I'm going to pick a radius. 
right here. Radius is 0 0.03 and color is color.yellow. Okay. So that adds a sphere in there and it should it should do it. So I'm not going to I'm not going to um, update it. I just want to run it and make sure that part's working correctly. So let's scroll up here and let's just run that. Okay, so it made eight dots. I'm pretty happy, but I need to move those dots now. Okay, so let's move the dots. Move the dots. Um, I did this before. I told you I did this before. Okay, so uh, what I want to do to move the dots is I want to do the following. What did I do? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to jump to my other code because I, I don't know what I did. I, I worked on this a little bit and then I just I kind of forgot what I did. So I think I can do this. I'm going to show you my code and I think I can explain it um, a little bit better because I, I had to do little tricky things because you know I don't always like to do simple stuff. I like to I like to do it straightforward, but so I just pasted my code. Let's save it because I'm going to give you this code. Um, wheel velocity vectors save and you will get that code okay now let's run it and then i'll explain it let's see if it works okay so it, it is working it is pretty cool it is that's pretty cool um uh so you'll notice that these vec they're in the thing okay i know what's happening um, I think I need to shift all those vectors out of the board a little bit because so the thickness of the vector depends on the length default wise. And so when they're really small, they're too thin uh, and they don't come out of, of the thing. So let's go through what I have so far and see if I can fix it. So here I have, let's see if I can make sure I'm on the right. Okay. So here I have the same stuff I had before. Here's the velocity of the wheel, T, DT, theta, D theta, dots, those, that's what I had before. VA is my list of arrows for velocity. V scale, that's, uh, so when you calculate a velocity and then you make an arrow of that length of the velocity, that's, you're actually drawing it in meters and maybe that's too big. So if I wanna make it smaller, I can, and that's my V scale. So this is ha I'm making them half the, the size is half the velocity. I know it's dumb. Here's my angular velocity vector. This is the same as I had before where I go through and make the dots. All I do is I also go through and make an arrow uh, object at each point. And so I actually make the length of the arrow equal to zero, but the same position as the dots. Okay, this is the same while, that's a, this is the same, this is the same. Uh, this right here, uh, all I do is go through and move. So alpha moves, right? So that's my starting angle. And I change that somewhere. Didn't I change? Where's alpha? No, I guess not. That's just to plot. I changed theta. I changed theta down here. So theta is actually the angle, the rotational angle of the wheel. Alpha is the, this should really be d alpha, okay? Instead of d theta. It's the, theta is the angle, that's where I got messed up. Theta is the rotation angle of the wheel. Alpha is finding where the dots are with respect to that. So then I move all the dots. Uh, after I calculate the new theta, I move all the arrows, the positions. Now down here, what this does, RT is a vector from the center to the dot, right? Um, and that is my problem. Because uh, the center, yeah, that's the center to the dot, that's fine. Um, maybe what I want to do is to not have this. I think this should be zero. And then um, up here is zero. And then just move my dot out. Put these at zero. And move my dot, my center. Let's put that at 0.5. Let's see if that works. Now they're still in there. I need to move, move the center more this way. So let's put this at 0.7. Let's just try that. Oh, it's still in there. 
Why didn't it move? I think I must be putting the wheel center. Oh, down here, wheel position. That's weird. Okay, so I actually what I did was I just put it relative to that. I should do this. Uh, wheel C equals wheel C plus wheel dot V times CT. That should do it. Now it's too far out probably. Oops. Inconsistent indentation. Wheel C dot POS equals wheel C dot POS plus wheel wheel dot V times GT. Well, I don't see what the problem is. Wheel C. What if I just comment that out? This is the troubleshooting part. See, that's not the problem. Inconsistent line in 29. Okay, line 29, so uncomment that. Wheel POS, wheel PS, wheel... Well, that doesn't look right, wrong. Let's just comment that out, see what happens. See, there's still an error. Indentation error. Okay, rate. Hmm, maybe it's up here somewhere. Okay, let's copy this again. Okay, I'm going to uh, fix this, but I want to get it running. Oops. Oh, what did I do? I messed this up bad. Okay, let's highlight the whole thing and paste it. And then right now it's back the way it was. Oops, I, I zoomed out. Okay. And let's just try one quick thing down here. This. Let's just put this at 0.5. Let's just try that one small change. Let's see if that does it. Yeah, that did it. Nice. Okay, uh, I'm going to actually change this V scale. V scale to 0.3, and then I think we are done. There you go. So I think I have successfully recreated that picture. Uh, I didn't put a velocity in the center just because I didn't want to get too cluttered. Uh, that's just kind of artistic, right? I like that. You'll notice here the velocity when it touches the ground is zero. That's the velocity with respect to the ground, not with respect to the center. So this is, oops, this is Python art. That's what this is called. I'm pretty happy. It's fun to draw stuff. Okay, so like I said, let me save this code. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm going to give it to you down below um, and have fun making stuff. I'll talk to you later.